I spent an entire career doing spatial projects. I knew what geography was. It's out there. It's big areas. Some of which I'll show you if I can get this to advance correctly. <clears throat> Two years ago, the focus changed some. I had a call from the doctor. I was diagnosed with a type of cancer called multiple myeloma and decided to learn all I could about that. Um, of course, I was thinking about it in terms of geography. A lot of work has been done on the geography of cancer, uh, epidemiology, Superfund sites, how cancer is distributed out there in the world. That didn't seem to yield a lot, but started looking a little differently the geography in cancer, the other side of the skin. How is it distributed within the body? Some types of cancers, it, it's pretty obvious. Lung cancer, brain cancer are in those organs. The type of cancer I was dealing with was in the bone marrow and bloodstream distributed throughout the body. So started trying to learn about that, terms that I didn't understand and couldn't even pronounce. But in looking at research, I kept seeing these terms that were very comfortable. <laughs> Location, place, proximity, stuff that I was used to hearing about and dealing with in these projects. <clears throat> so started doing exploration in these different research areas where <clears throat> finding that spatial work was pretty much central to a lot of the research going on in cancer. Uh, surprised me a little bit, but it was in a way comforting and gratifying to know that there was such a strong spatial element out there and all of these things happening within the human body. The cancer of geography is always the individual as a data point, but if you go inside of that and look at the body, the organs, down to the molecular level, there's even more spatial. And then to me, the ultimate was this quote in recent research. <coughs> yes. <coughs> Dr. Tobler, you might be familiar with this concept. Uh, all of us should. Where does all this lead? I think spatial sciences has a lot to contribute to medicine. Very large databases, visualization analysis, and find that it's important to look at both sides of the skin in geography. And I think that spatial has a lot to contribute to medical outcomes. We need to explore that further. <clears throat>